Hi, we're on to our second part two of Legendary Riffs. Basically, we're going to continue with some very cool phrases that are really nice just to play as a bit of an escape. So you walk past the guitar and you think, oh, it's going to be jam. You can go. For example, and play Judas Priest Breaking the Law or Seven Nation Army. So in this, each of the tracks we mentioned will be 10 in total as on the PDF file, they will have a time stamp. So in other words, if you look at your sort of time bar that sort of gauges you as you go through the video and you want to learn come as you are, all you do is you go through your five minutes, for example, you just drag the, your time slot across your five minutes and you get and everything is there. Just to recap, make sure you use the same finger numbers, make sure you got the PDF file in front of you so it makes sense for together for the tab. And we're going to kick off now at one minute exactly with Breaking the Law by Judas Priest. It's a nice easy riff, it's going to go like this. You can add a little bit of palm damping into it, you can a little bit of a pinch the monic as well. If you feel it sounds cool. But let's take you through the riff just quickly, it's going to look and sound something like this if I focus on my fretting hand. You're starting off with the open fifth string, fret number two, fret number three, all on the fifth string. So it's then watch the offbeat counting. It's so the O two threes are repetitive, but the timing changes. Then for the third and fourth bar, you're starting at the first fret of the sixth string. Start with me, one, two, three, four. Now on some of the techniques, I want to focus this quickly before we go to Seven Nation Army and some palm damping, some pinch demonics, and you can make this uniquely yours and some variations. First of all, on the palm damping, you want to rest your palm on the saddles, yes, yeah, so you can hear. You can hear the notes are muted, unmuted. Slightly muted. And what sounds pretty cool is if you use a combination. So you put a little bit of palm damping as you want, when you want. It's not exactly like the original, but why keep it standard? Learn to make it your own. Now on the pinch the mic, you can hear a little high pitch there. That there is quite a sneaky little trick. You basically play the string really, really hard. And as you leave that string, the string snaps against the side of your thumb. And that creates the high pitch. That's enough of breaking the law. We're on to three minutes. Next song is going to be Seven Nation Army. I'm sure you recognize this. It's a popular uh, inter-school song with our schools locally here. It's going to sound like this. <laughs> Now the pinch the monic again, I can't resist them, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay. but you'll notice on your PDF there are two parts, there's a part one, which is what I just played now, it's going to be, and there's a part two, which is going to sound like this, now if you want to be a purist, then obviously go to the video that I've done entitled Seven Nation Army, but the basic riff, let me just take you through it. I'm going to go through now to focus on my fretting hand. Starting at fret number 7 with the ring finger. Very important to use the right fingers. And fret number 7, string number 3. There's a gap. The gap is a timing gap. And you go from the fret 7. And fret 7 again. And then 5 on the 4th string. That's the only note on that 4th string. And then you back to the 1st string. Fret five and then you have to eventually move your hand down to three and fret two. So golden rule, don't move your hand unless you have to. And now I have to move it. And now I have it. Now on the second roof you'll notice there's an extra five three inserted towards the end. And this happens after the G and the A in the original song. So after he goes, then he does a combination of riff one or part one and this part here. And then three, two. So let's do riff number two. Two, three, four.
come as you are. I've switched to a clean sound. And I'm sure you recognize this legendary riff which takes you through the whole verse while he sings about mosquitoes, molitos, albinos and other unusual topics. Now, on the PDF file, you'll notice the first three notes, that zero, zero, one, is in red. Then there's a bar line, and then you repeat. So basically, what we're trying to say is, on repetition, when you play the riff through a second time, that zero, zero, one, in red does not get repeated. So let's focus onto our fretting hand. And we're going to start with the open zeros. Then there's the one. Now those are the first three notes in red we spoke about. And then finger two comes into the second fret of the sixth string. Now apparently the original is drop D tuning, so we've just accommodated it to make it easier. So you don't have to drop D your guitar and then make strange tunings, and it still sounds like fun. Okay, so slow motion. Watch the fingers. You're only really using fingers one and two. Open, open. Then there's a tiny pause, and you go open two. zero and then this part that will take you back to the beginning of which that last two that are played would actually be the first two in blue at the beginning of the bar above the count of one so let's take it together two three This is one of my personal hard rocking ones. It's taken from Kansas. Carry on, my favorite son. It's going to sound like this. And then it's got a whole lot of other sections, which I'm not going to cover in this video. Now, Ingrid Marmsen did a very much more up tempo version of this as well, but more rock. But let's take you through note for note because the notes are still the same. We're now going to focus on your fretting hand and you'll notice repetition in the first four notes. There's the first four. Notice I'm damping the first three notes. Damp, damp, damp. And then clear note on the number three. And the next four goes the same. But it ends differently. So it's first and second phrase. Five, three, five, three. Five, three, five, five. Then there is a very quick slide. You can see that 5's font is slightly smaller, which slides from the 5 very quickly to the 7. And then from there, nice and quick, you can do a pull-off and a slide if you want to. And after that, five, five, and a little bit of palm damping, we have this. Two, three, four. And the pinch the monics as well, try and put a little bit inside, but try not to get too overkill with it because it sort of loses the element of the song. And for the palm damping as well, keep your palm really close to the bridge so it's resting on the saddles. You can hear the slightly little muffle. And then you can see that little flick, the little twist of my wrist. You see the twist in that helps me to get that last note to ring nice and clear. And on to nine minutes, we're going to finish off with something very different. We're going to finish off with pink. And we're looking at So What I'm a Rockstar. <laughs> I really like this song because even though it's by a commercial artist, which Pink is my personal favorite, um, it's got a really cool hard rock F sharp minor pentatonic based riff. <laughs> okay, so let's focus on the fretting hand and see what's happening there. Notice the overdrive and the hint of over, uh, palm damping as well. And it's in groups as well. I've kept the grouping of the, of the individual phrases together so you can see on the tab the first and the two changes strings and you'll notice also fingers one and three the whole way through so slow motion and then you got pause 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 and the last double two let your first finger off once like that so 
a slow motion. <laughs> I'm not going to take it all bit quick enough. And now to focus on the fretting hand and watch the little twists of the wrist, listen for the pinch harmonic, see if you can see the techniques up close. Focus nice and close on the palm, you can see it's resting on the bridge. And without the pinched harmonics and the damping, it also sounds cool. And for those now that I said, so what, I've got an acoustic. I'm going to play through all the riffs one more time on an acoustic guitar just to make sure and ensure you that it sounds just as kick ass on an acoustic guitar too. I'm going to switch to an acoustic guitar and check this out. Here we go, number one, breaking the law. And I added a bit of pinch harmonics, bit of palm damping, so you can really make it a nice unplugged song. Next up, Civil Nation Army. Be generous with the vibrato. You'll notice there I went from riff 1 to riff 2 and listen for that slide as I came back. It's not on the original but it sounds pretty cool. Check this out. The little slide. It just sounds nice. So try and make the song your own. If you think of, of Beat It which is originally Michael Jackson and you think of how Fall Out Boy changed that song. Another one is, is Disturbed by doing Sound of Silence which is originally Simon and Garfunkel. Change the songs, make them your own. It doesn't have to be an acoustic or electric. They all work really, really well. Um, come as you are. Going to do that as well now. One, two, three. Also sounds nice. A little bit of palm damping at the back. All those things we can add into it. Carry them away with sun. We're going to get a bit more of a different angle just for the fun of it. And we're going to do. It's a nice fast one, but it's a really cool one to get into the riffs. And if you want to try and get out of the, the full breakdown of the song, it's got some really nice techniques as well inside there. And then to finish off, carry, um, Rockstar by Pink. a hint of a pinch of money, a lot of palm damping, and you can do some pretty cool things on acoustic as well. So make the songs fun, enjoy them. This whole purpose of this video is not to be taken seriously and learn all the final or sort of fine and nuances of every song in secret. The purpose of this video is just to teach you some cool riffs that I'm pretty sure most guitarists just like having fun with. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.